How's everybody doing today? Welcome to the vlog. Um, today, I'm going to kind of do something a little different. Um, I'm going to give Luke, the sna my snake, a bath. Uh, and kind of show you how that works. And if your snake... It is sometimes if you you know he's constipated or if you get some stuck skin you know skin doesn't come off and stuff like that uh, don't be afraid to give your snake a bath it's not gonna hurt your snake your snakes can swim um, it's just don't fill your bathtub completely all the way up and you want to keep your water lukewarm okay do not make it if, if you make it too I mean, you don't want to burn them think of it as if you if uh, since they are cold-blooded they need to have heat but if you come in from the outside and your hands are cold and you stick it in warm water they will it kind of burns well even if it's warm it would still burn well a snake is kind of in the same position the same way you just you can give them a bath just make it lukewarm and you're fine so what we're doing is I am putting water in the bathtub right now which is way plenty yeah if you want uh, he's gonna grab him real quick and he hasn't went to the bathroom as far as I can tell and he's due today to go to the bathroom so this should kind of give you an idea once you put the snake in there it usually happens real quick and don't leave him in there for a little bit let him swim around it's not gonna hurt your snake okay um reverse the camera here let me dry my hand off I check the temperature okay hopefully we get a good view here's the snake now you want to gently put him in the water. You don't just take it and just drop him in. You want to slowly just put him in. Most of the time, he will just, uh, they will enjoy it. He'll take off swimming. <laughs> or <laughs> I gave him a little tap. To get or off your <laughs> said so snakes are actually really really good swimmers and he doesn't seem to uh, doesn't seem to bother him too much usually he's swimming around but being as during the day he's probably wondering uh, what are we doing here and honestly, he is alive. I swear to God, you guys. <laughs> At this point, it's like you think he's not alive. You can see his little tongue sticking out. But um, if they have stuck um, skin or anything like that, just throw them in your uh, a nice <laughs> bathtub of water and leave them sit for a few minutes. And... You can take a wet um, paper towel or a wet washcloth and slowly wipe them. And most of the time, that skin will come right off. He hasn't had any stuck shed for a while. I mean, he had a teeny, teeny, tiny bit on his tail. I did just see it when I put it here. Um, but nothing that would be required to me to worry about. And then as you see, it's not like he's going to drown or anything of that nature. And being it's a nice warm bath, um, like I said, if uh, they are constipated or anything of that nature, it will help them go to the bathroom. 
There you go. Basically, um, there you, go. You, you know, you fill it up enough, but keep it shallow enough mm -hmm. so they can pick up their. Let me see. Oop, right there you and go. Just like that, he's probably. Uh... Oh, he had enough. Mm -hmm. Or you could tell he was wanted to get out. That's why I just stuck my hand in. He, and he said he went to the bathroom. He's, he's been in here for... It's been a, a few minutes, so... The water has cooled down. So... I mean, that's all there is to it, guys. I mean, you, your snake will not drown. It helps them go to the bathroom. And... You know, well, you stay in here attending them. Yeah, I mean, just like I said, do not leave your snake. Because yeah, the first time he actually climbed up and was getting out. Yeah, and he he has no issue, and like I said, he I'm not sure how long he is yet. It's kind of getting hard to measure. I mean, we might be able to get a quick measurement, but. Snakes ain't gonna like really cooperate and say, "Hey, here, can you sit here nice and straight for us?" And sometimes, yeah, you can kind of get an ideal. The last ideal <laughs> close we had was twenty, inches. was twenty inches. And I need to get a scale, but um, I can tell you flat out, he is very a very healthy snake. Just take a wet washcloth and just. Carefully, carefully rub down, go down. Not, don't pull up, always go with the scales because you will hurt your snake if you uh, go opposite. And you don't have to put a lot of pressure. And if it still doesn't want to come off, he wants a bath. <laughs> Perfect, you ready for a bath? You want a bath? Uh, I think I'll pass. Never mind. But there you go, guys. I mean, like I said, don't be scared and think you can't put your snake in there and give him a bath. Give him a quick little bath. It's nothing big, and he's pretty much partially dry. And you don't have to dry them all up anyway. He's mostly dry. Yeah, so say you really don't have to worry about say, hey, I need to dry him up really, really good. Right, if you look in the sunlight, you can just see a couple dots. Yeah. He's almost all the way dry. But since I didn't see any spots in his tank, and he's got a lot of spots that he could go, um, let me move this. <laughs> you got in front of me. That's what he did. What's up, buddy? He still got a hold of my finger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got a lot of spots to go to the bathroom. And um, if you keep your tank humidity level, I mean, even if you keep it perfectly, everything right, the temperature's right, the, the humidity is right, and your snake just, it just might have it sometimes of a... Uh, do you like my new bracelet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got a nice little <laughs> wrap there. My new bracelet. Um, I mean, even having everything perfect, your stink still might sometimes have an issue. And, you know, it's just like a human. Sometimes they just need a little bit of help. And that's an easy way to do it. It doesn't hurt your snake in any he's which way. Saying. Yeah, he's going to. He's getting himself nice and tied up. <laughs> I looped right on over. <laughs> See, problem is, is he wants fed now, and still has a couple of days. He's got till Saturday, and today's Thursday, so um, two more days. So if you guys have any more any, any kind of questions or you have any kind of comments or anything, please leave it uh, the comments down below, and I will get back with you and 
you know. If I don't know the que if I don't know the answer, there you go. The breeder we have will I I'll, I would get it do the answer. So that's what I have for you to today for you guys. Um, nothing much. We're still working on getting stuff going for camping. So hang in there. We're gonna have a lot of cool videos coming up with us camping, and I'm excited to get going. I'm. I'm worried and I'm excited both. So, uh, I mean, I'm more worried about the van. I just want the van to get there in one piece and us to get back in one piece. You know what I'm saying? It's just, the van's falling apart and it's got me worried. Huh? Yeah, I might hold him for a few minutes. But, uh, I hope you guys, uh, are having a wonderful day and. You guys are staying dry because I know there's some rain moving in and stuff like that. Uh, just if, if you see see any thunderstorms or anything like that, just be careful. I'm hoping for thunderstorms and I'm hoping for tornadoes and stuff like that because I'm anxious to get out there and start doing some chasing. So me, I'm just after like, camping. yeah, after camping. And I can't, the kids because, can't be here. Because you well, I mean, you can't take camping right now. <laughs> <laughs> and... My daughter wouldn't enjoy it if we, I, I promised her I would never storm chase with her here. And she doesn't want me to do it anyway, so, um, I just won't tell her <laughs> if I go. <laughs> so, all right, guys, be brave, be strong, and remember, God always loves you, even when you think he doesn't, and he's not there. He is there, and he does love you. We will talk to you guys tomorrow.